Hello, my name is James Placencia. I'm a uh, local artist in uh, Redlands. And I, I work with different uh, mediums, uh, uh, clay, uh, watercolor, acrylic paints. And um, I do local art events. Uh, I'm self-taught and I've been doing it for over uh, say 20 years. Today, we're gonna to be uh, working with Sylvia Vargas and uh, we're gonna be working on a project for her class, um, Major Arthur, Authors Mythology of J.R.R. Tolkien. And we're focusing on the character of Eowan. So we're gonna walk her through the steps, um, how to sketch the design, maybe draw the head, and uh, maybe some other details uh, so she can submit it to her class. Thank you. All right, so let's, focus on her face. And uh, again, we're gonna use lines to divide the face. So this would be, this line here represents her eyes. Okay, okay. then we have another, another line to represent the bottom of her nose. And then another line for the mouth. So you're about right there. You can already see the, the face coming out. And then she's wearing a helmet, right? And her helmet looks, let's see, she has, let's see, we'll draw, to explain it, it's simple, maybe like a triangle here, or like a, a wide V. And then it actually comes down right about there to look more, uh, more like hair. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and then she has, so that's, remember these are just a, a sketch. Yeah. This is not the final. We can go back and change it and make some corrections. And, and then she has um, an armor, I guess what, uh, piece on, on the top. So we'll make a line for her neck right about here. And then we'll go ahead and So then here, uh, oops, so how do we do this? What's up? Oh. What's up? And uh, we're going to change the uh, pose of the character. Uh, the initial pose is a little too stiff, maybe not as, they didn't have enough action. So we're going to go with the more dramatic pose. We've already gathered our ideas and design. So we're going to sit down together and sketch it out and go through the basics of um, how to draw a character with a little more um, action in the scene. So we'll start uh, with this pose. The character is a warrior and she's going to be holding a, a sword over her head. Uh, she's like she's going to strike from above down. So and she's going to be the angle is looking from the bottom up because uh, she's uh, on, on the top of a uh, I guess would be like a rock or a hill, and then the uh, the villain is on the bottom, so she's kind of coming down on an angle. So what I like to do is we'll start with our base, which would be the rock. 
so uh, the rock would be right about here, maybe the center of the paper, Sylvia. So just, we'll start here, make a line going up, maybe at an angle, not a perfect line, because the rock will add more detail. It's going to have more of a, it'll have definitely uh, sharp curves and edges. And then we'll come back down, right? Good. And then the angle of the body is, well, we'll start with the head. Let's see here. I'm kind of at an angle. So, this way. so I guess the easiest way to describe is, is to give it like an arc. We'll start maybe about this point of the rock. I'm going to go like give it a curve. This represents the center of the body, the spine, the back, the, 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 the uh, chest is... Push forward, kind of like a getting ready to. Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Just trying to focus. The human form is in circles, squares, cylinders. Mm -hmm. And then this will be part of the, the midsection. And right about here would be the, uh, the side. And remember, this is just a rough sketch. Okay, and now we have, she has one leg that is uh, bent and, so we'll draw, right about, okay, let's do this. We draw a circle for the hip, right about there. And here, we'll draw a line for the leg. And then this will be the bottom part of the leg, right? Now, the other leg is going to come straight. It's a, think of it as a straight line. Right about here. So this will be the socket of the leg. Come down like that. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, see how the body is moving forward. Yeah. The arms are back. So you have this arch. Okay, Sylvia, in this next section, we're going to go talk about shadow. And we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and add some uh, shadows to uh, the, the character to give it that kind of three-dimensional look. Give it some, uh, some, little more, uh, a little, uh, some more details. So let's start with Faramir up here. He's, uh, he's going to be in silhouette because the light's shining from behind. So you're not going to see a lot of details, but you're going to see the outline of his body. So we'll go ahead and indicate his head with the oval shape. Again, his shoulders, and he's wearing, I did some research, he's kind of wearing like a cape or a cloak. So we'll bring that straight down. He's also, he is, his weapon of choice is a bow, an arrow. So we'll indicate a bow and arrow with a straight line up, follow a curve, and then fill that in. So, like I said, he's in silhouette, so we're not gonna give him a lot of detail, but he is represented in the picture and he's standing on top of, I guess we would call this a hill. And then later on, we'll add color, we'll add some green and some grass to represent the hill, kind of like a, um, part of your storyboard is that he is represented in the uh, picture so we'll have a shadow right between her arm and her I, I guess i call it her chest plate in this section here right about here because this actually is fabric and then she has a chest plate it's a little heavier i think it's like a leather type of And then we'll cast a shadow. There'll be a shadow right underneath her chin in this section between her neck and the, uh, the chin area, right, right about there. Let's see. So what I did on this one, I combined watercolor and then acrylic paint. The watercolor, I like that it gives this kind of like this wash, kind of uh -huh. like a blending. See how it's like darker here? Okay. So what I did is I gave it some orange uh, watercolor 
and then I give it more water so that it uh, dissolves, not so oh my. so rich. Okay, now in this section, we're gonna give the picture some color. And what I did is I initially gave it uh, some watercolor. And Sylvia, I'll show you how I got how I give give it an initial. Okay, so I'm going up here. Yeah, go up. Uh huh. There you go. So this is the cape there, right? So that's the cape. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're kind of at an angle right here. Okay, so now let's focus on the cape. And uh, we're going to use green. And we're going to mix green and black. So we'll take some paint on our brush. And we'll use this darker green here. We'll put some on our palette. There you go. Yeah, you can use the same. It's just fine. Is that where's black? Is it black? It's a little bit. There you go. And I I use my sight. I'm looking at the, how I'm blending the colors. I don't want it too bright just yet, but I and I don't want it too dark. So I'm using water and adjusting. Okay, so that's pretty good. Another. We're gonna give it another wash. We're gonna start here. This is part of the cape, and I'm gonna just give it some color. I just kind of fill that in. Oh, mine's a little too green, too black. Too black. Okay, go ahead and um, maybe wash off your brush. Kind of take some of that, the black off, and then just go green. Right here. Try, um, what do you call it? Her um, armor. Uh, to me, it looked almost like a purple color, so I went in and used purple. Where's my purple? Is that purple? And I'm going to add a little purple and black. Oop, that's too dark. See how I did that? Yeah. So that's why I do it here. And then I can move it over. So I'm not committed to using that, that color right there. There it is, just palettes. That was the, too dark, too much black. So I moved it over and I'll grab some. Just kind of mix it a little bit. Let's see how that works. So remember, it dark, dark to light is the, uh, I guess, the rule of thumb. So okay, so now we're it's right about here, yeah. <clears throat> oh, mine's still green. Oh, you might need to wash, take off some of that paint. That looks pretty good. Okay. So then I go here to the purple? Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this. some of this gray and some of the black. So my light source is coming here from the top. Actually, there's a line representing his helmet. It goes right about here. Some of that. Oops, it's too dark, so I'll go ahead and line it up with some more gray. There you go. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to, now we're going to give the painting some uh, highlights and make it look, give it more of a three-dimensional effect. So we have our, our spike here, it's dark, and then I'm right on top, I'm going to give it a white, Let's see where there it is. Line. I can't even see it on the glasses. I'm gonna take them off. There might be too much paint. So with the white, just right above it, past the yeah. little. Yeah. Right on top of the yeah. uh, spike. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna go right the center of the nose again. Okay, another. And 
placing it right on the line of the mm -hmm. Well, it looks like I'm covering my drawing. <laughs> you see? Okay, I covered right here. I can't see that. I covered the outline of it. Well, that's pretty good. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so. Did you um, add, oh, around the eyes too. Yeah, you can add a little bit around the eyes, okay. but make it look like it's. Kind of like uh, what's that word embossed or something? Okay. But kind of like in the middle, I think we need that more. Give it. Let me see. The uncaged, and then I think it could be done. This is black. The cage. This is black. Right, because it's called my whole thing is called uncaged. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how I will get.